So I got an interesting cool video for you guys today. I'm gonna tell you exactly how owning and having bought this GTR has absolutely transformed my life for the better, made me more money, and improved my life tremendously. One thing I can say for sure that has been a direct result of buying this car is I forged and met new people, right? Forged new relationships, and I've been able, been able to make connections I otherwise would not have made, whether that's social media, for my real estate business, for my online business, etc., etc. The proper usage of the car to get to places you normally couldn't, and the access it gives you to a certain kind of person and a new community has really opened up a lot of doors for me business-wise and just some new great people that I've met that really have not only benefited my business side but also just my life in general and really enriched it in a very, very positive way. Secondly, believe it or not, I've actually made money with this car. I picked up four clients last year for real estate who ended up buying or selling a property with me who I met at car shows, right? And you would think that maybe that's weird or it's not the norm, but in that circle, right, there was maybe one other realtor, but he wasn't really connecting with people and forging those new relationships. So me coming in, I was able to make connections with more people, connect on the fact that we both enjoy cars and that's one of our passions and from there we were able to exchange information, remain friends, stay in touch and when they had a need or question in real estate I was able to service them and get them what they wanted and in return I obviously made money and grew my business too. Now obviously the other big factor is that I've been able to use this car to grow my social media following. Now here in 2017 if you want to grow a business and you want to really be a big mover and shaker worldwide, social media is something you have to learn, understand, and master. And this GTR has provided social proof, basically meaning that it's a, one of the reasons that I can back up who I am and that I'm actually moving and shaking in the world because I have this car. And a lot of you have connected with me just because I have this car and it's something you aspire to have something that you would like in your life and from there you connect with me, you connect with my social media and through the training I've done through real estate and sales training I've actually made some money. So this thing has been kind of like a funnel or a gateway for people to come in and really follow me. Like think about all the people out there who own multiple houses, you know, like Grant Cardone owning um, multifamilies, you know, the 10, 15, 20, 50, 100 unit buildings, right? And he's teaching people how to invest in real estate. Other guys who own Lamborghinis. Uh, a lot of you maybe follow Ty Lopez. I haven't watched his stuff, but I mean, he basically, from what I understand, tells you what to do in order to grow your business and make money and buy the Lamborghinis like he has. So even though it sounds kind of corny, it's true. You know, it's a funnel for people, for people to come in and I know that I'm gonna deliver on my knowledge and expertise because I've been there, I've done it, and I can help people shorten the learning curve from you know five, 10, 15 years to doing something big within two to four. Because keep in mind, uh, less than, four years ago, about four years ago, maybe a little bit less, I was broke and searching for meaning. I got into real estate, started studying and applying myself, and boom, look where I'm at today. I'm about to take delivery of my Lamborghini here in about three, four weeks, and I'm super excited. And lastly, one of the things you can't really put a price on is just the overall enjoyment of driving this thing, and whether it's a GTR or another car, just the love you have for it, and everything else, right? It's just a sheer happiness. Now, there's no attachment to it. However, it's one of those things where for you, it may not be a car, maybe something else, but it, it's like uh, something you can't quite put your finger on. It's like you see the the memes of they give costs for two or three things, and then they say your friendship priceless or something like that. And that's really how the experience has been with this thing, man. I love this thing. I know technically you can make a very strong argument about it being a depreciating asset, and it is, it truly is, but leveraged properly, you can actually get some benefits from owning a car like this and doing some other things that you can uh, uses a tool to leverage your online business and social media. So for all of you out there who maybe you're considering getting it, if you're strategic about your cars and what you do with them, you can definitely monetize it, make some money, create a following, and at the same time, enjoy the car that you've always wanted. So one last tip I'm gonna leave you guys with, make sure that when you buy one of these cars, you're not committing financial suicide. Uh, on this GTR model, I actually put a lot down. My monthly payment is really, really low. I've paid it off practically in two years and you know, uh, make sure that the reason you're getting it and what you're doing isn't for approval and isn't so other people clap for you. Make sure at the end of the day, all these decisions come from you internally because you really want it, 
right? You can be as strategic as you want all day to grow your social media and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna do something like this, like a car, make sure you actually want it. Make sure that you're gonna enjoy it because when the camera comes off and you're not on Instagram, you have to live with this thing. And if it's really not your passion, you really don't want it and you're only using it to impress people or to grow your social media, you're gonna be miserable, man. So make sure that you do be strategic with what you're doing, but at the same time, make sure it's coming from your soul, right? I've always liked cars and I've just happened to have a passion in more expensive cars, right? And now that I'm actually managing my money properly and I'm making a very, very good income, I can have these toys and I'm just leveraging them to the maximum by growing my social media and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, right, you take social media away, you take any follower or acknowledgement for the car away, dude, you're still gonna see me down the street ripping it because I love these cars. Anybody who rides with me can tell you when I'm driving this thing, I'm not paying attention to who's looking or who's yelling or who's whistling. I'm just enjoying the car and I'm in my own world, all right? So with that said, I'll leave you guys make sure that you know if you are considering getting getting a car that's really expensive a luxury a supercar exotic sports car it can benefit you and it can make you money it's not a complete loss it just depends on how you look at it and how strategic you are okay so like the video guys if you haven't subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video